Oh my god, I'm super excited to listen to this piano version of Joan Cook's Euphoria! Yeah! All right. Are you going to make sure you don't like yell throughout the whole thing so we can hear the song? <laughs> okay. Are you going to pledge? Oh. Hey, Armies! BTS oh, reaction yeah. time! Happy BTS Festa! Woot, woot. This is our first time to celebrate Festa! Oh. Ah. Now we're getting to understand the whole like BTS ARMY <laughs> like feeling. Okay, well, make sure we mark it on our calendars every year so we commit to it every year for the That's rest right. of our lives. <laughs> this must be a wonderful moment if you live in Korea. Mm. Why can't it be a wonderful moment everywhere? I know, right? I know. Everything's but... online. It's not like BTS is going to everybody's house in Korea knocking on their door like, hey, let me they sign something for you. They do that. They'll pick like ARMY and they're gonna go... They're not picking you, trust me. In fact, if anything, they got you on the naughty list. Whatever. House to avoid. <laughs> well, they've been dropping a lot of new content this last week or so, and now mm. they have a new mix for Euphoria. It's a piano version put together by DJ Swivel, the Forever Mix. This is gonna be real interesting because we haven't heard of this version. And like the other content they've been releasing for Festa, it's very raw. It's not like it's stuff that's very produced. It feels like it's a very intimate sort of gift to the army. Right, exactly. Like not edited. It's raw. Raw. Well, I love this idea of a festa, a celebration, you know, with the fans, recognizing the fans. I wonder if other like K-pop bands do this or is this something that's done in the K-pop industry in general? Because if it is, let us know. I, I'm curious to learn more about this concept or if this is just something that BTS does specifically for their fans. Mm, I think it should that's... be done more often. It's a pretty great idea, mm. especially for bands that have been around for like a long time, have a large base. I think everyone today has gotten used to like mighty now content like every single day because of social media. But when you package something together and make it feel a little bit more formal... It feels like a nice celebration. You know what I'm saying? It's like you give a gift every day, but it's your birthday. It feels a little bit more special, right? That's like an right. anniversary always feels a little bit more special. That's right. I do agree with you. I'd like to know if other K-pop groups do the same thing. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> let's do this. And away we go. This is in New York. That's definitely New York landscape right there. They eat cereal in Korea? They love it. It's a very American thing to eat for breakfast. They just learned that from here. Does he play drums? He's learning. I think he knows how to play it now. <laughs> Hold on, let me focus to the music. Nice footwork there. Take 
Where's the cat from? Hey, they have a gimbal. Mm -hmm. They're filming professionally he now. Likes, he likes to. Oh, so the John Cook man. is the one who enjoys uh, cinematography. Yes. yes. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you wouldn't use one of those unless you're familiar enough with like video editing. Oh yes, when they travel, you see him carrying those bags. Remember, you have your bag for your camera that bigger than that. Wow, this is so lovely. Lovely, it's like Jim and Swords. <laughs> Is this that Euphoria? Is lovely like, version? A <laughs> lovely version. Oh my gosh. Um, I I was having a hard time focusing on the, the him singing the piano version and then focusing on his like video. Like, on, I don't think it was that complex. Con <laughs> well, not like there was a complex plot. That being said, the piano version for this song, it's the kind of thing that like, you would play in the background. It's not something that would necessarily stand out and be mm -hmm. overpowering. It's like perfect for like a montage and something like this. That's true. You just play so you can just enjoy the imagery. Compilation of Jungkook being... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Being the baby and the handsome boy, like actually, he definitely oh, looks a lot goodness. less handsome in these videos. Uh, Have you noticed? Kiss without makeup, exactly. You hear it often, like when they do interviews or they travel the world. The animal says, "Like, wow, these guys have amazing complexion. They're so handsome. Their face looks so flawless. Fair, like everything." And I'm like, like, you can see it here, like you know, especially uh, when you're on travel a lot. It's always throwing your body off. You know, you're always breaking out. Like no one has perfect mm -hmm. complexion. And it's great to be able to see that actually here because it kind of takes away this sort of like idolized version of what someone is. You get to see him for what he is without the perfect lighting, without the makeup. Jungkook is one of them that, you know, I mean, all of them, they don't really like care when they're like off camera or, you know, not doing any performance. You know, they're just boys. Wow, this is so nice. Seen a lot of like new stuff that I, I didn't see see before i like seeing them you know very very sweet to each other showing their love and compassion to each other and jungkook being silly <laughs> as always